a hey, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful let I am out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has created us to do, so he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being the so called black, Hispanic, or Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. A Shalom. It's your brother Halak here from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with another video. And before we get into this article, I want to bring out, we're going to start right here in Isaiah 9 and 5. It says what? For every battle of the warrior is what confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Talking about what? This third war is what? That's going to be fought, man. This is not going to be like your, your typical wars of old, man. You see, the typical wars of old uh, pertain to what? Sword and shield, you know, close quarters combat where you had to get up on your enemy to uh to slay him. See, that's how the that's how the old battles were fought, man. Boots on the ground, confused noise. Perfect examples, Gladiator Troy, 300, Game of Thrones. Those are some of the things that you can look to to get an illustration of how of how ancient battles were fought. But the Most High is telling us that this new war that's going to be fought is going to be with what, burning and fuel of fire. Why? Because this 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 next great war, this next great war, the last war, the planet Earth will ever see. You see, ever experience. Is going to be with what, <laughs> nuclear fire, man. You see, this is what's coming. This is what the will of the Most High is. This is what's about to take place on the earth, man. And the and the recipient of the greatest destruction is going to be what? The land of America. Babylon the Great. You see, this place is going to completely burn. We're going to get it. Let's get Malachi. For and one it says what? For behold the day cometh that shall burn them that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall have host, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch, and this is the day that's fastly approaching, man. You see? This is the day that's fastly approaching. The complete destruction of Babylon the Great and everyone in it by way of thermonuclear fire, man. The second death. All the pride, all the arrogancy that you people uh, exalt, you see, and uplift in this place is going to be brought down very qu quickly by the almighty Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Is going to be brought down very quickly by the only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. You see all this bragging and boasting and you people just living however you want to live. is going to come back to bite you in the ass, man. In a great, dreadful, and horrible way. You see? Let's get this article, man. The article says what? <laughs> New Russian hypersonic missile to be delivered to Navy this year. You see that? You see? New Russian hypersonic missile to be delivered to Navy this year. So let's get into the article. It says what? The Zircon sea launch cruise missile is currently completing its final stage of testing. Trials of the state of the art Zircon sea launched hypersonic cruise missile are currently being completed and the projectiles will be deployed to the russian navy later this year a deputy defense ministry minister revealed on thursday 
The Zircon has made significant headlines worldwide for its capabilities. And last year, it was named by U.S. Navy Admiral Charles A. Richard as a threat to America. And that's biblical prophecy, man. That's prophecy. Because why, why is it prophecy? Because the Most High is raising up the Russians, which is Gog and Magog, man. To do what? To do his will. And what is the Most High's will? For America to be destroyed by way of nuclear fire, man. And Russia is going to spearhead that, man. They're going to lead the charge on it. That's why they're leading, lead, leading the way in hypersonic missile technology, man. That's not a coincidence. That's happening because what? They're, they're, they're doing it to fulfill prophecy. And we're reading right here in the article, it says what? That these missiles are a threat to America. And that's what they're supposed to be. Because that's what the, that's what the most I has these, these, these missiles created for. You see? Let's get that real quick. This is why the most I had these missiles to, uh, created in the first place. Isaiah 54 and 16, it says what? Behold, I have created the smith that blow of the coals and the fire. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. You see that? The most I put the spirit upon those, a hey, first and foremost, those uh, German scientists who came up with the, uh, the atom bomb that they dropped on, uh, on Japan. <coughs> and now, hey, we, we look that later on down the line, the most High's allowed these Edomites, these Russian Edomites to do what? To perfect. That technology, man. So it's all be all because of what? Why did this happen? So the most high could waste and destroy Babylon the Great America. You see? The most high say he made the waster to destroy. Not to sit in missile silos forever. These weapons are going to be used. We don't give a damn about how many packs you make, how many treaties you make about not setting up missiles here, setting up missiles there, not using this type of missile. Guess what? According to the will of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah, nuclear war is going to be is, is going to take place, and, the, and and the greatest casualty will be America, Babylon the Great, man. So let's get this. This is Isaiah thirteen, man, and this is one of my favorites to go to because it tells you Isaiah thirteen and seventeen says what. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. And this is what we see happening in the earth, man. <coughs> this is what you ha had happened last week was what? Uh, a couple weeks ago, you had the NATO and the U.S. sit down with Russia to have talks. And guess what? They couldn't come to terms, man. They couldn't come to an agreement. So guess what? That happened because the Most High didn't want it to happen. The Most High wants the West to be at odds with Russia in the East. Because it, fulfilled pro it fulfills prophecy. You see? Isaiah 13 and 17 says what? Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. You're not, they're not going to be able to bribe their way out of this one, man. The Most High set up the Medes for one purpose and one pur purpose only, man. To spearhead the destruction of America. Verse 18 says, What well, the bold shall dash the young men to pieces. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. They, their eyes shall not spare children. And that's talking about when these missiles are shot, man. These missiles are not the respect of persons, man. They don't give a damn how old you are, how young you are. They don't care about women being pregnant. When these missiles fall, if you women are in labor, once, this, once these ICBMs hit, guess what? You and your baby are going to be cooked. If you women are walking around you and you're, and you're uh, bearing a child in you, guess what? You and that child is going to be cooked by those missiles, man. It doesn't matter. These missiles are not going to discriminate. Everyone that, that has been ordained to receive that destruction is going to receive that destruction, man. No matter who you are. 
The only ones who are going to make it up out of this is the remnant of the nation of Israel, man. Verse, verse 9 says what? And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, how did the Most High overthrow Sodom and Gomorrah, man? By way of fire and brimstone. And guess what? America's going to go out the same way. Why? It's because of all the wickedness that's going on in this place. You see, and first and, first and foremost, what you have done unto the Most High's chosen people, the Israelites. You're going to have to pay for all of that. And when it's all said and done, America's going to be a, a, a greater desolation than Sodom and Gomorrah ever was, man. <coughs> it says what? Verse 20, uh, verse 20 says, It shall never be inhabited, neither shall, be, neither shall it be dwelt there from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Why? Because there will be nothing left standing here in the land of America, man. This land is about to become a barren wasteland. The greatest desert the world has ever seen. That's what America is about to become. You see? Let me grab Isaiah. Because it says the same thing about a certain someone, man. Isaiah 49 and 17, it says what? Also, Edom shall be a desolation. You see? Jeremiah 49 and 17, also Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished and hiss at all the plagues thereof. You hear? You see? Why is it talking about Edom receiving the same type of judgment that Babylon the Great is going to receive? Because they're synonymous, man. They go hand in hand with one another. Because Esau, Edom, Rules over Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great is the chief dwelling place of the Edomite, man. So that's why when you read about Babylon the Great receiving the same uh, judgment as Esau Edom, because it's synonymous. Because as we go on to read, verse 18, it says what? As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, that went out by what? Fire and brimstone. And the neighbor cities thereof say, If Yahweh Bashim Yahweh no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. You see? So when you read this, and you go read Isaiah 13, it's saying the same thing. About, hey, it's, it's saying the same thing about what? Babylon, the beauty of the Chinese excellency, excellency the so-called greatest nation on earth to hear Esau tell it, right? It says that place is going to suffer as Sodom and Gomorrah did. Then when you jump to Jeremiah 49, it's saying Edom is going to suffer as Sodom and Gomorrah did, man. Why, why are these prophecies reading the same? Because it's talking about the same place. And that lets you know who's running over Babylon the Great. The Edomites are, man. And they're about to be eradicated. You see? Every Edomite on the land of America, every so-called white person on the land of America, on the soils of America, you're going to be engulfed completely by where this thermonuclear fire, man. Just like the inhabitants of Sodom and Gomorrah was what, completely engulfed by that fire and brimstone that rained down from the heavens, man. You see? And this is why we see. This is why we see Russia doing what they're doing. Because the Most High, he said them up to, to fulfill prophecy, man. Call Allah, you Allah, you have So go back to Isaiah 13, it says what? And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt there from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there, neither shall the, the shepherds make their fold there. You see, there ain't going to be no more coming to America setting up shop once this, once this place is destroyed, man. <coughs> you see? America is going to be, be be what the most I always wanted it to be. A great desert. Verse 22 says what? But the beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. And I shall, and I shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there. This, 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 this whole land of America is going to become a habitation for desert creatures, man. 
You see? <laughs> Verse 22 says what? And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come and her days shall not be prolonged. And this is what we see. This is what we see. Russia, you see, putting an end to the test run of the Zircon to put it in, in, in where? Into their nuclear powered submarines. And this is going to happen later this year, man. If they ain't already got them in there, now. <laughs> you see? It's not a coincidence, man. Yahweh Bashmi, Yahweh Shah is preparing to destroy Babylon the Great. But we know a few more prophecies that have to take place, mainly and chiefly what? That MOTB, which is the RFID CHIP. You see? And when that happens, hey, what's next? The destruction of Babylon the Great, man. It says what? Her time is near to come and her days shall not be prolonged. The most I has put an expiration on this date. Hey. <laughs> And it won't be destroyed a second before or a second later. The most I have the date time stamped. And it's gonna be right on time when the most I finally says, hey, get hey, get it up out of here. And there's nothing that you people can do against it. There's nothing that you can do against it, man. You see? It's a wrap. <laughs> This is Zechariah chapter 12, no, 13. You know what? I'm tripping. Zechariah 14 and 12 says what? And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord, Yahweh, will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. <clears throat> and how is that going to cause it? Uh, what's going to cause this to happen? That thermonuclear fire that's going to rain down here upon Babylon the Great, man, in the form of two hundred million thermonuclear warheads. You want a, want a good illustration? That's what's about to happen to all of you who are outside of the remnant. Go and watch Terminator Two, man. You see and, and see what happened to uh, uh what's her name, Sarah Connor. While she was standing on that feet. I mean standing on that fence. Her skin melted away. You see her eyes melted out. Her tongue melted away. Then eventually what? Her, her skeleton was turned into dust. And that's what's coming. To the inhabitants of Babylon. The great America man. And this is why we see. The most I was putting the spirit upon Russia. And these Russian devils are full speed ahead with doing what? Creating these hypersonic missiles, man. And it's all for the purpose and will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You see? You Edomites are done, man. And with that, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work that Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah has created us to do. And with that, I say Shalom, Wa, and Baba Ba.